Um, so now tell me what, you, you've written a play. So I wrote this play um, called Dolls of Dawn. These yeah. two are in it. Actually, these two, all of these objects were in it. They were all in it. These ones oh. were all in it. Um, uh -huh. And it is a play that's about the ways that like queer people and feminine people and like, you know, poor people, people who are repressed by capitalism are, uh, who are mad people are um, pathologized and like how we are just all actually witches and how madness is magical and like the ways that like patriarchy and white supremacy and capitalism like repress us is by making us not believe in ourselves and then but they're actually they're what uh, the whole entire system of patriarchy capitalism white supremacy homophobia is all like a form of, of magic because everything is magical and that magic steals our energy from us and imprisons us in horrible psychological like imprisons and then actual prisons and uh, how, like you know, how, physical prison. How long as does well. your How long does your play go on? Does it have a it's like story, a, a basic yeah, story? Yeah, or it has a story for sure. It definitely is a narrative play, and it has it's um autobiographer or, or just fiction. Somewhat. I mean, everything is based. Everything I know is based on my own experience, right. and then you know, I've read books and all these things that like inform that. But I would say it's like somewhat uh, autobiographical. Autobiog but not entirely. And is it playing anywhere, or how can if people it's, can read it or it's see over? It? It's over. There's no more shows. It's uh well, there will be more shows of the. I mean, the thing about it is, is like, I was kind of trying to develop like a whole artistic practice, like slash like form of magic and artistic practice with it of like performative ritual. Uh, that was like its intention is to help mad like fellow femme, mad people, mad people, all femme people, all people who are pathologized by patriarchy and white supremacy and homophobia to be able to like see this very like irrational, non-linear and like absurdist but beautiful and like very intimate and intense like way of being that is like so denied us that like I feel like you know the internal and external binds are constantly trying to block us from being able to experience uh, that Well, sort of you have thing. that shaman experience among Native Americans who... Uh, I mean, I'm not Native American, so I don't know about that. No, but, but the I, Native Americans are almost, they like to minimize it now. It was part of their culture, but because they've absorbed the values of this culture. Yeah, I feel like most the cultures two that are people. not based in white supremacist, like Christianity, are actually, have a deep acknowledgement of like the spiritual universe that is not you know about pain and suffering and heaven and hell these like dichotomies that are like so fluid actually and like you know pleasure and pain are like mixed at the same time sometimes and then all totally separate and things can all be lessons and la 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 and but how long does your play run it was uh it it was like you know, I mean, because a lot of it is like intuitive, um, but you know, it has a baseline story that I follow. It could, it was going anywhere between like a half hour to like an hour long, and uh, we did 11 shows of it. Oh, wow! Yeah, <laughs> and we were actually, we're just shooting for it, but I'm doing it over the whole summer. Wow! And I was wondering um, what you guys are up to. So we're basically doing that, yeah, like like sort of a very, um, we're creating space to worship the goddess and to like acknowledge and celebrate like our femininity as, as femme people, as witches, as queers, as like people, and in a, in a way that like is confrontational, but not in the, the masculinist traditional sense of the word confrontation, yeah. but like by taking up public space, which is often denied, like, you know, for, rep like, feminized people, crazy people, or, like, whenever we do take up public space, it's, like, you know, seen as this, as this, like, burden to, like, the, to the way that capitalism and society functions. And so we're taking up space to, like, sort of protest, to protest that, I guess, but, like, 
in our own way that's not like, you know, we're, we're inviting all people to come and participate in the ritual and creating, like, trying to create space for all people to be able to, like, perform and do what they want, like, within, in the zone, like, cool. just kind of inviting, like, divine chaotic femininity into the, into the space. Or do you guys hang around Washington? Um, I am going to. We're going to be back here tomorrow, too, but this is, like, going to be a one-day thing, but a lot of the people who were part of this, like, weren't able to show up today, so we're just going to do it tomorrow also. Cool. Yeah. Um, I would love to maybe be able to shoot one of your happenings, if that is something you'd be interested in. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, that sounds cool. Olivia, are you cool with that? What? A photo shoot of our happening. These people are doing a, a research project, so like a, a film, I a film project. project. Yeah, I'm not going to be here tomorrow, so we do it today. I couldn't do it today because we're doing a shoot today. I just wanted to stop by and talk. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be uh, well, if you'll be here tomorrow, I might come by. But yeah, okay. I just wanted to see. Uh, I'm filming you. I'm filming you now for YouTube, just so you know. <laughs> cool. Hi, YouTube. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah. So maybe I'll see you tomorrow. But this is awesome. Yeah. I mean, you can. Um, do you want to take my number? You I can. would love to. Yeah. yeah. I would totally take don't my number. write it down. Don't say it. Yeah. So you're making a film or just a study? Or? It's a film photography project on performance of femininity. Oh. That's, um, see, that's like perfect. Yeah, you should go to totally the drag march. The drag yeah. march is next Friday night on the Thompson drag Square march? Park. The Radical Fairies. We all I dress in drag. I would love to come to that. That sounds awesome. That's next Friday night. night next Friday night. At 7 o'clock, Thompson Square Park, and they walk over to the front of Stonewall. I will be there. I will and be there. And they gather around the... 6. There's all kinds of interesting people. They show up, it's just an amazing gathering. I'm so excited for that, that's awesome. I Did you go to the Stonewall Vigil? Yes, I filmed it. I was it. there too. I put up Mayor Cuomo's address, and the gay Muslim woman's address, and the mayor's address. I was right among the black people that were really protesting when that that began to speak. Yeah. It was very interesting how they handled that. Yeah, I didn't sure. understand what they were saying when they were saying, say their names, because that's how names. we were gonna end yeah. the project. And that actually was a way to stop the disruption. Yeah. You know? No, I mean, yeah. Because he, it was. man didn't get over about two minutes. I mean, you could, I could not hear 30 continuous sections of anything that he said. Yeah, I thought, well, I thought saying their names was beautiful. I thought it was really good. I, I thought the whole thing, especially the lights when they held up the lights at night. Me too. I yeah. have, my name is Randy Wicker. I'm on Facebook. Randy I'll give you my card and you can look up. I have a whole set of pictures of deal by anybody. Everybody. I would love to take friends. your card, yeah. Okay, let me get it out for you.